Hello everyone. Welcome to another video lecture on basic concepts in organic chemistry. Today we will try to understand the concept of resonance and resonance energy. One thing that uh, you need to remember and understand is that the structural formula of any compound provides a large amount of information about that compound. So an ideally correct structural formula would be the one that is consistent with all the known facts or properties of a compound. So the properties of any compound, whether physical or chemical, they are usually interpreted in terms of its structural formula. Now, there are molecules in which the bonds are usually uh, localized. So only one structural formula is enough to understand or to explain most of its properties. But in case of conjugated system or in case of molecules that contain a conjugated system, uh, you cannot represent or you cannot explain the properties through one from one structural formula and their properties usually differ from molecules that have localized bonds or electrons their physical properties vary as well as their chemical properties varies uh, their response to certain spectroscopic techniques uh, also vary or they are different from molecules that have localized bonds. So, what is resonance? Now, resonance is the representation of a molecule as a weighted average of two or more canonical forms. Resonance, you have to remember, is not a real phenomena. It's a hypothetical phenomena and it was first explained by Heisenberg uh, through quantum mechanics and later it was uh, explained and used by uh, Pauling. So we will try to explain the concept of resonance with the help of some examples uh, that I will show you, a couple of examples and later on we will discuss what resonance energy means. So as an example we have 1,3-butadiene. We have already discussed this molecule in another topic that was uh, delocalized chemical bonding. You can find uh, the link here uh, to that video. So 1,3-butadiene has four carbon atoms in the structure and you can see there are two double bonds separated by a single bond. So when we have such a system in which we have uh, an alternate double and single bond system, we say that the system or the molecule is conjugated and resonance is possible uh, in such type of molecules. So these pi electrons can delocalize over the whole uh, molecule or all the four carbon atoms. So as a result of shifting of this pi electron density, uh, you get this uh, charge separated structure. Again, this has already been explained in that video. And you can see that it is separated by a double headed arrow. Now this double headed arrow shows the concept of resonance happening in this molecule. It is different from that uh, double arrow with half heights like uh, in case of equilibrium it's not equilibrium like these are not two different molecules it's the same molecule but it's resonating between these two forms and you can draw the molecule in this form now this form of the molecule is known as the resonance hybrid this resonance hybrid is also known as the mesomer now, as I told you earlier, resonance is not a real phenomena, it's a hypothetical phenomena. So it does not really mean that this 1,3-butadiene would sometime exist in this form and it would sometime exist in this form. A molecule has only and only one structural formula. Now, these different forms are just to show the delocalization of electrons and 
we can write the molecule uh, as a resonance hybrid in this form in which you can see that these double bonds are shown with uh, broken lines and it is this broken line is spread over, over the whole molecule which shows that electron density is distributed evenly between the four carbon atoms and this broken line shows another thing it shows that there is no true double bond between these two carbons or between these two carbons and there is no true single bond between these two carbon atoms and this means that this single bond between carbon number two and three has some double bond character because of this uh, resonance phenomena and these two double bonds in this structure they have some single bond character because of resonance which means that this is not a, a true double bond and it is somewhere between uh, a double and a single bond similarly this is not a single bond and it is somewhat between a single and a double bond and that would mean that these double bonds between one and two and three and four would not have the same bond length as a carbon carbon double bond should have and this single bond between carbon two and three will not have the same bond length as it sh should be for a carbon carbon single bond now this single bond between carbon number two and three would be slightly shorter than a normal carbon carbon single bond and this double bond would be slightly longer than a normal carbon carbon double bond and that is one of the manifestation of resonance happening in uh, one three butadiene now one thing that you have to uh, remember in this case is that these two structures are not equal that we will discuss uh, in a couple of minutes that how these two structures are different from one another as an Another example, we will discuss benzene here. Now, benzene has six carbon atoms and three double bonds in the structure. And uh, we have already explained this uh, in case of uh, delocalization in benzene and the molecular orbitals of benzene, which you can find uh, in the link here, that these double bonds are not localized between the carbon atoms, uh, which we have shown here. So they can shift from one place to another, right? And additionally, this uh, benzene molecule has also been uh, uh, suggested to have these three structures as well. And so we can represent a molecule of benzene in this form in which this pi electron density is distributed among all the six carbon atoms. And so this is the resonance hybrid or the mesomer of benzene. Now, what are the contributing structures? Contributing structures mean the structures which contribute to the real structure of the molecule. As I told you earlier that resonance is just a hypothetical phenomena. So a molecule has only one structure and here because of resonance or delocalization, we are representing each of these two molecules with different structures. So they cannot have all these forms. Both these molecules, 1,3-butadiene and benzene have only one structures. And the different structures that we have drawn already, they contribute to the real structure of these molecules. So we will see this uh, in case of 1,3-butadiene first. So we have a neutral structure for 1,3-butadiene which resonates with another structure that is a charge separated structure. Remember, in case of resonance, when we have such a case that one of the structure or uh, the contributing structure is a neutral form and the other is a charge separated structure, the neutral form will always contribute more towards the real structure of that molecule. So in case of 1,3-butadiene, this neutral form is the major contributor while the charge separated structure is the minor contributing structure towards the real structure of 1,3-butadiene. And this, of course, is the resonance hybrid. Now, in case of benzene, why I have selected these two molecules is because of the fact that 1,3-butadiene has a resonance form or a canonical form that has charges on it or it is a charge separated structure the other one is neutral but in case of benzene we do not have a charge separated structure 
but what we have is uh, five different structures and all of them are neutral but if you look at these structures closely these two are different from the rest of the three these two structures the first one are known as the Kekule structures these were proposed by Kekule and both these structures have three double bonds uh, changing their positions between the uh, carbon atoms and these three structures are known as the Devers structures and if you look at these three structures there is a bridge between these two carbon atoms or these two carbon atoms or these two carbon atoms in uh, benzene now it's like a bicyclic molecule right so these two structures uh, would be more stable considered to be more stable as compared to these three uh, bicyclic molecules and that is why the Kekulé structures are the major contributors towards the real structure of benzene and they contribute each of uh, these two contribute 39 percent of uh, to the real structure of benzene while the Dever structures are the minor contributors and they each of them contribute 7.3 percent to the real structure of benzene and if you uh, add up all of them 39 plus 39 plus 7.3 plus 7.3 plus 7.3 this becomes 99.9 percent .9%. so it means that these five structures uh, contribute 100 percent to the real structure of benzene but among these five these two are the major contributors and these three are the minor contributors and this of course uh, finally is the resonance hybrid now what is resonance energy remember as I told you earlier that the contributing structures uh, that we have discussed for 1,3-butadiene and uh, benzene they're not equally contributing to the real structure of benzene now what is the real structure or what is the energy of the real structure what is the energy of the uh, each of the contributing structures and what is the energy of the mesomer or the resonance hybrid so these molecules or groups or ions uh, existing as resonance hybrids or mesomers that they are considered to be more stable uh, than uh, they would be if they existed as localized Lewis structures so if the, these molecules had localized bonds and we would have been able to explain their properties through one Lewis structure that would be more energetic or less stable as compared to the resonance hybrid and the resonance hybrid now is more stable as compared to that single Lewis structure so the whole point is that delocalization brings more stability to the structure and this gain in stability, which means uh, uh, reduction in energy, is uh, referred to as, or it is known as the delocalization energy, or it is the resonance energy, or the stabilization energy, or the resonance stabilization energy. And this energy is the difference in energy between the resonance hybrid and the most stable of all the contributing structures. Now for benzene, this value is about 36 kilocalories per mole so what is this 36 kilocalories per mole energy it is the difference of energy between the most stable contributing structure or the major contributors of benzene and the resonance hybrid of benzene so the difference of energy between the Kekulé structures of benzene and the mesomer of benzene is equal to 36 kilocalories per mole and this is the resonance energy of benzene which means that none of them is the real structure of benzene in fact this resonance hybrid or the mesomer is more stable as compared to the each of these Kekulé structures or even the Devers structures and this also proves that resonance or delocalization brings stability to the system and in case of uh, benzene it is equal to 36 kilocalories per mole so this was all about uh, resonance and res resonance stabilization energy we will discuss some more topics related to this uh, in the coming video lectures thank you so much for watching